Hey everybody, I'm going to be showing you the Radiolarian Culture Farming Spot that has been used pretty frequently as well as one that I have found. It's the most efficient and effective. Pretty simple. So firstly, Radiolarian Cultures is an offering. It kind of looks like these white snowflakes. Uh, you need 10 of them to upgrade to the concentrated Radiolarian Cultures, which then are used on the Verse boxes to allow you to get those Vex weapons and the Sagira Ghost Shell at the very end of all the boxes. So I am here on the EDZ, and I am at the bottom left at the Winding Cove. And essentially what we're going to be doing is spawning here. We are going to find a chest. We're going to get on our sparrow, travel to the outskirts, and travel right back, which allows us to pick up the same chest. And once we come back out to the outskirts, then a new chest will spawn. And so if you're quick enough, sometimes you can get three hits out of the same chest. But this is ultimately the easiest way to get all of this farming done. I've been getting about three to five Radiolarian cultures every five to ten minutes. And what makes this a great spot is there's only, you know, eight chest spots as well as a public event does spawn here, which will give you that chance to get another culture. So real quick, let me show you guys how this works. We're going to hop on our Sparrow. I'll do that. And I will sh put... A small segment in here to show you all of the chest locations at the very end of this but we're going to go over here hopefully find us a chest location so for example there's one right here we're gonna hop on it we're gonna grab that we're gonna get on our vehicle memorize where that spot is again and we're gonna take this way out and this is the, the slow part of this, it's the slow grind. The faster your sparrow is, the faster this will be. And so you're going to hop on here, you're going to go out here to these purple flowers, which takes you to the outskirts, and you're just going to come back to the exact same spot. So again, this is, you know, I get the slow grind of getting these done, but it does work. So we're going to come back to the exact same spot. That chest is still there. You're going to hop on, and now you get another chance of getting another one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then what you would do is just spawn your sparrow again and just keep rinsing and repeating that same area. And sometimes a second chest will spawn right away. So here's another one right here. And what I could also do is just get on my sparrow, go all the way down there, and come all the way back and get a chance to hit that one more time. Here are all of the spots. So there was that one I just hit, as well as the one I had before in the video. There will be one right here. Sometimes you will see one spawn here. A lot of the times you will see them spawn next to these trees, along this coastline, especially behind those broken down trees right there. One can be right here, and two can be under that bridge. Very rarely, but it does happen, you will see sometimes one spawn right there in that corner. One up on top of this hill. And one on this hill. And then the last spot that you want to check is just hopping on here. You want to go up this way, kind of where that dragon guy is. Take this little rock hill up. And there are a chance of two spots being back here. One behind this little box and one on top of this. So I highly recommend using, at least for this area, a ghost shell that will detect the caches within a 30 meter range. It'll make your life very simple. Uh, but yeah, just that's, that's literally it. You come in here, you hop on your sparrow, you find a location, you go out on your sparrow again to the outskirts, you come right back. And you just get that same chest. And when you want it to despawn and spawn another one, you just go back out to that area and come right back in. And also keep in mind, you can also get these Radiolarians from these public events that spawn here. So make sure you hop in those when they do come across. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, my gamer tag's at the top left. Please send me a message.